Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Munif Ali. I started this channel to share my life experiences so that I might teach you how to become more financially savvy and thus successful. If you like this type of content, go ahead and hit that like and that subscribe button, maybe even at the same time. So in today's video, I'll be talking about the eight best career options in the future. These are the jobs that are high paying and fast growing and are currently in demand. And over the past few months, we've seen big companies laying off employees and increasing unemployment claims. Currently, the total number of unemployed people in the US is 6 million with a 3.7% unemployment rate. It's also projected to increase the coming year to four and a half percent. You might be wondering why I'm talking about labor statistics here. Well, that's because wage income is still the number one source of income for most Americans. In fact, among tax filers, 82% reported earnings from wages. So remember that your income is the greatest wealth building tool. So choosing the right career will be very beneficial in your financial journey. So let's get to it. From here onwards, I list what's a job about, it's medium pay, what level of education and experience are needed, the projected growth, and the projected number of openings each year. So the number one thing right now, software developers. A software developer uses a variety of skills and tools to design, program, build, and launch, and even manage software. They also contribute to developing software systems that power different networks and devices and ensure that those systems remain operational. Everything from gaming companies to cell phone companies to entertainment industry related companies, they all can use a variety of one level or another of a programmer. The median pay is around $109,020 per year. Entry level education for this is a bachelor's degree, although others prefer a master's degree. And you can pick up some of these skills just from little courses as well. The projected growth through 2031 is about 25%. And that's 162,900 projected openings each year. Number two is financial managers. Financial managers analyze data, they advise senior management on profit maximizing strategies, they're in charge of the organization's financial health overall and prepare financial reports and direct investment activities of an organization and plan for their organization's long-term financial growth. The median pay for that is about $131,710 per year. The entry-level education, you guessed it, a bachelor's degree with five years or more in the related field. The projected growth all the way to 2031 is about 17%. And that means about 71,300 projected job openings each year. Number three on the list is nurse practitioners. Nurse practitioners are the primary care providers who monitor patients' health and provide medical care. They can even prescribe medicine in some cases, although some institutions do require doctors to oversee them when they actually do prescribe medicine. The median pay for this is about $123,780, and the entry-level education is a master's degree level. The projected growth through 2031 is 40%, one of the fastest growing in the recent data provided by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. About 30,200 projected job openings every single year. Number four is data scientists. Now the role of a data scientist is to examine data from actionable insights. They identify data analytic problems and give the greatest opportunities to the organization to try to fix it. Data scientists spend the majority of their time researching, designing algorithms, and writing questions about data sets. The median pay for this job is $100,910, and the entry-level education is a bachelor's degree in mathematics, statistics, or computer science. However, some employers do prefer a master's degree or doctoral degree even. The projected job growth through 2031 is 36% with 13,500 projected openings each year. Number five is the information security analyst. 
one of the most important roles of an information security analyst is to safeguard computer networks by installing programs such as firewalls. They devise and implement security measures to protect an organization's systems, their data, their networks, and their confidentiality. Typical duties include, but are not limited to monitoring for security breaches, investigating cyber attacks, preparing reports, and also penetrating their own systems and testing and software installation. Medium pay for this job is $102,600 Per year. Entry level education, you guessed it, bachelor's degree with no less than five years of work related experience. Projected growth for this job through 2031, 35%. That means 19,500 projected openings per year. Before I continue, I'd like to know your thoughts about the career options that I have already mentioned. Would you consider any of these careers? And do you agree they should be included in our list? Please let me know by leaving some comments down below. And now let's go to number six, the web developer. They're responsible for creating and maintaining websites. They also handle the technical aspects such as the performance and the capacity, which measures the website's speed and capacity to handle traffic. They also create content for the site and make sure that it is visually appealing, user-friendly, and easy to navigate. And they get paid well at $78,300 per year. Their education level is usually a bachelor's degree, though others would accept a high school diploma with certain certifications and experience. Projected job growth for this one all the way to 2031 as well is about 23%, thus 21,800 projected openings each year. Number seven on the list is a financial examiner. These people are responsible for ensuring compliance to laws of governing institutions, especially when it comes to handling monetary transactions. They review balance sheets and evaluate credit risk and also assess bank management and you get paid about $81,410 per year. You need a bachelor's degree with a long-term on-the-job training and job growth to 2031 is about 21%. So that's about 6,800 projected openings each year. Number eight, medical and health services managers. Now these guys organize, direct, and coordinate medical and health services. They're sometimes known as healthcare executives or healthcare administrators. They either oversee an entire hospital or a single clinical area or department, or a group of physicians at a medical practice. They also manage the finances of the healthcare facility and create work and shift schedules for care providers and other administrators. They represent the facility in investor meetings and even government boards. The median pay for this is just over $100,000 at $100,340 and a bachelor's degree with at least five years of related work experience. The projected growth for this is about 28%, yielding about 56,600 projected openings per year. So look, I just gave you a ton of different jobs jobs and job positions. Some of them require definitely a bachelor's degree or beyond, and some of them you can get away with with just your own level of education. As the economy changes and evolves, remember, it creates new opportunities. And I definitely think that these are excellent career options for the next few years. The healthcare, the finance, the tech industries are constantly growing. And if you're still deciding on what career to choose, these jobs are definitely worth considering. Even if the use of artificial intelligence is increasing, these jobs are difficult to imitate. So you can rest assured they will not become obsolete over the next few years. They also have great starting wages. And if you manage your income well and live within your means, then you'll have a solid foundation for building your wealth over time. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope that you learned at least something in today's video. And if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and share it. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more valuable content like this. And if you're still hungry for more money tips, check out this next video, how to make money on the side so that you can start to invest now.